The PPC industry is constantly changing, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Um, it's one of the things that I like about it the most. You don't always want to get stuck in a rut doing the same thing all the time, but you also don't always necessarily want to break out of your patterns, so you can't be a curmudgeon. So one of the things I want to talk about today is the LinkedIn ads campaign objectives. They just launched three new objectives last week, so I want to walk through what each of those are, how you can use them, and give you just a basic rundown to get started. In the previous campaign builder, you'll see that there were three previous campaign objectives blurred out. Those are the new ones that we now have. Brand awareness, website conversions, and job applicants. Now, brand awareness and conversion website conversions had options to execute the same type of functionality, right? So choose website visits in the middle column over here. And then once you have everything set up, automated bid, maximize for impressions. Um, similar with the website conversions, choose website visits, automated bid for conversions. Uh, the job applicants campaign type is a completely new campaign type. There just wasn't the option to do it in the first place. So what we would do for uh, brand awareness, website conversions would look a little bit like this. When we go in and set up the budget and schedule section of a campaign, we would have chosen website visits and then we come down to the bottom and we would adjust things for the bid type and maximize for. So we would either maximize for clicks, impressions is what it told you to do for brand awareness or conversions for a conversion optimized campaign. Um, now the way that I always liked to get this checked off was actually to go away from the automated bid. Um, if you pay attention to some of the videos on this channel, you know that I am not really a fan of the automated bid. Um, it just ends up being way too high. So the way that you could also do this with a max CPC bid is choose a different bid type, choose enable conversion optimization, and it'll still optimize for that conversion that you wanted the campaigns to optimize for. You can then change your own bid amount. So this is what a lot of my campaigns looked like when I was optimizing for website conversions. But now when you build a new campaign, you'll have all of the options available for the campaign objectives. You'll see that in the new campaign builder, all of these are options. We can click on all of them and we can choose all of them. So let's go in and just see what the default options are for each of the three campaign types. So let's start with brand awareness. When you choose brand awareness as your campaign type, it'll automatically look like this. It'll give you the set a daily budget, the start date, and then your bid type will automatically set up as automated bid and it will optimize for the impression. So basically what it's done is it has removed the step that lets you choose what to optimize for, whether it's clicks, impressions, conversions. It knows that since you chose brand awareness, you're going to optimize for impressions. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't move away from the automated bid and still set your own max CPM bid if you want to. So I would encourage you that if you wanna do brand awareness on LinkedIn, it might make sense to still test the automated bid, but it could also make sense to still choose brand awareness and then set your own max CPM bid manually based on the suggestions here. What about the job applicants piece? This is a brand new campaign type. And when you start setting this up, it looks a little bit like this. This is different than all of the other campaign types that we've had in here. It still has the budget set up, um, but then it starts going into the automated budget pacing. The schedule is the same, but you'll notice that bid type is locked in at max CPM. You cannot change this, um, at least not right now. It looks like there's a drop down option on here, but since this entire button is grayed out, that tells me that it's probably gonna keep you locked in here for a little bit. Okay, so let's start at looking at the least amount of pacing all the way up to the most optimized automated set of pacing. So no pacing basically means that LinkedIn is going to spend your budget it as quickly as it can. People are not always on LinkedIn all hours of the day, all days of the week in the way that we probably are on Facebook. So this means that when there's more traffic on LinkedIn, your campaign is going to spend as much budget as it can for your CPM bid that it's got in there. And it doesn't really matter what your end date is. It's going to spend as much of your budget as it can. So there's no pacing whatsoever when it comes to that one. Even pacing. This means that your campaign will spend the amount of uh, budget that you have in here and try and pace it evenly across hours of the day, days of the week. So everything would look basically like a flat line on a chart is what it's gonna try and go for, right? It's gonna try and make everything even across the board. Optimized traffic pacing is honestly what I would probably start with given the user 
engagement on LinkedIn. People tend to be on the LinkedIn platform uh, earlier in the day, maybe a little bit around the lunch hour, maybe toward the evening, but it's certainly nothing like Facebook where people are on all the time, constantly checking things. Um, sometimes weekends can be okay. The users who are gonna be on the platform on the weekend are gonna be really highly engaged usually, but the volume is a lot lower. So given that this is an entirely new campaign type, I can't necessarily tell you which one of these is going to be better or worse. You might just wanna test them out for yourself, but I wouldn't shy away from some of the optimized traffic pacing to start off with just to get a taste on how this would work and kind of caution against some of that no pacing just in case for whatever reason, the first thing you set your campaigns live and it blows out the budget right away. So keep an eye on that one. Lastly, for website conversions. This is the campaign type that I use the most, quite frankly, because I'm always trying to optimize for some type of on-page conversion action within my campaigns. So you'll notice that this looks a lot like the brand awareness setup when we started. It gives you the budget, daily budget, whether you wanna run it, what the schedule is, um, and then it gives you the bid type down at the bottom. Again, since you have already chosen website conversions as your uh, campaign objective, it's gonna just choose automated bid for you and it's not gonna ask you what you wanna automate for because it's effectively choosing that radio dial of conversions for you. Again, I'm still not a fan of the automated bid. Given that this is a new campaign type, it might be worth testing to see how it's going to perform but I would caution against giving it too much leeway. So it, when it comes down to it, if you want to, you can still choose to do your max CPC bid. And then honestly, it looks exactly like the setup that it did when we ran through website visits in the middle. You get to choose your bid amount down at the bottom and you get to click this enable conversion optimization button and it's just already done it for you. So effectively, the website conversions campaign type isn't that much different from the workaround that we had before. The interface is just a little bit different, but from everything I can tell, all the functionality is going to be pretty much the same. So although it might seem like a great idea to jump in head first and do the automated bid and that sort of thing, I would caution against doing that only because everything seems like it's going to go back to what the automated bid platform was in the first place, where we see really high CPCs coming from the LinkedIn platform that we don't necessarily have to pay for if we can do that bottom barrel bidding strategy that I talked about in the other video. Overall, I think it's great that LinkedIn is rolling out some new campaign objectives. It'll make it so that when we start out building campaigns, we don't have to do a workaround right off the bat. The biggest changes are really coming from the job applicants campaign objective, since that's one that we haven't seen before. So that's one that, if that makes sense for you and for your efforts, I would encourage you to go test out. For the brand awareness and website conversions, I think it'll make the setup a little bit simpler. We won't have to do that little workaround of choosing website visits and then optimizing for one thing or the other. But when it really comes down to the actual mechanics of the way the campaigns are going to work, given the settings when you change away from that automated bid in those campaign objectives, I think that it's gonna mostly be the same. The backend bidding strategies are gonna be about the same, that sort of thing. It'll just make actual setup that much easier. And I would encourage you that even if you're going to override the automated bid, like I would suggest in my other videos, um, that to still choose either the brand awareness or website conversion campaign objective, just to keep, keep things clear in the platform. And then additionally, if LinkedIn ever rolls out with optimizations to those campaign types, you'll already be in the right bucket and you'll have everything set up for success. Happy advertising. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 